What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is August the 31st, 2023. Today, we are going to be talking about um, platforms in general, where this is the BOJ Speaks. Um, and I want to talk about this specific topic because um, we're in a time right now, excuse me, where a lot of platforms that we have been talking about, they're having some issues. They're starting to uh, peter off. They're, they're ending. The the cycle with them is coming to a close. And we've noticed some red flags and different things of that nature. But there's one thing that happens just about every single time a platform goes away. All right. And we're going to talk about that as soon as we get this out the way. I want to remind all of you that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. All right. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I am cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less than that. All right, if you like this content, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified, hit the bell. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man because if he gets you, there's absolutely nothing I can do to help you. All right, so stay diligent, stay vigilant in this space and in the comment section as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about, to talk about um, one of the things that happen in this space when platforms go away. And I want to use a specific platform as an example, um, CloudFi, right? So CloudFi, of course, we know is no longer paying. Um, that at least is the stance that we have right now. The communication has gone to zero, um, you know, at least from the from the leadership standpoint and withdrawals has ceased. So we're pretty much written that off already. Right. Uh, but what is going on and what you may have seen, what you may not have seen, but could possibly see is phishing attempts from scammers to uh, make you feel like a platform is coming again, uh, coming back again. Or uh, they play on the hope that you may have. Uh, that a platform is going to return and pay. So what they will do is they will send out notes. They'll send out emails. Some of them will say, hey, send this amount of crypto to this address and we'll reactivate your account. Or, hey, we've noticed that um, all you have to do to, to get into 2.0 is to go into this new website and use your login credentials and all this different stuff, all right? You want to be extremely diligent during these times, all right? Now, I'm not saying to take my word as law, all right? Uh, but I have seen enough in the space to know when I believe a platform has come and gone. And whenever it's gone, I do try to make sure that I put a post out there, all right? Um, so you can heed to the post. But the one thing that I want to add to that is re whether you believe it's over or not, make sure you're checking the email address is coming from the actual domain. And even then, ladies and gentlemen, you might be surprised. Um, some of some scammers out here, because they may have started from Jump Street, knowing they were going to be a rug pull or a scam. Um, they don't mind emailing you from the actual email address or support that comes directly from the platform, because they're going to try to do whatever they can to get whatever they can out of you. Um, so this is one of the reasons why a lot of times in a lot of platforms, whatever I put in first, I'm willing to stick with it and and get whatever I can get from it for a while before I decide to up my ante. Sometimes I feel a little bit different. Um, but the reason that is, is because if I do that and I'm making sure I withdraw every day or as many times as I can, uh, if I'm able to withdraw at all, right? Because some, some instances we may find one that never pays us out one time, which would be unfortunate, but um, it has happened in the space before. Um, we are at least doing everything that we can to uh, get what we can out of it, all right, and not adding to a platform that's not going to pay us. Uh, I've been hearing some rumblings about <clears throat> Vortic, right? And of course, we put out a video about Vortic, and we've said that we believe that it's probably done paying, um, but there are a few people that believe that it's not. And if it's not, then it's not. It'll start paying again, and we'll see that, and then we'll come on here and we'll do a video. But what I don't suggest anyone do is add new money to a platform that isn't paying out the money uh, that was supposed to be already, all right? Platforms only really are here to do a couple things for us, right? And they are here to take deposits and process withdrawals. That's all we can ask for. That's all we really want. We don't need anything else. The, the additives are the referral plan or whatever else is in place. But uh, what we want to see is the ability to be able to earn more than we deposited. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, there's a lot of factors that go into that, okay? Um, some of them we can't control. Some of them we can control. Uh, how early we are able to get in may or may not be our under our control per se, um, but if we're always keeping a little bit on the side, we're staying diversified into many things, I do believe it's possible that when you see opportunities, you're able to jump on them quickly. Um, that is one of the things that has helped me, just having a presence. Of course, another huge thing that has helped me is sharing 
my journey with like-minded people. Now, everyone is not going to join every platform. Everyone is not going to see what you see in a platform. Everyone is not going to move when you move. All right. That is not an expectation that I have of, of the people that watch me, uh, because I know that the people that watch me should be clear on the fact that I'm just here to document this journey that I'm on. And whatever happens on the journey, if I get referral commissions and stuff like that, then great. It's like a finder's fee. Whoever found me and found a good opportunity, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a cut from that. But um, everyone can do that. Everyone has that opportunity. And I actually advise those of you that are in this space that feel like you can uh, provide value in what you're learning in your journey and provide it to others, you should start a channel. You should start a means of communicating these things to the public, you know, or to the people that want to know, all right? Uh, YouTube is just one big search engine. So the only people that are going to be really watching my videos are the people that are looking for things that I'm talking about, all right? So at the end of the day, uh, we've seen some things in the space over the last two years. Uh, we know some of the red flags that occur, but one of the main things that we want to make sure that does not happen to you is that you don't deposit more money when a platform is not paying, all right? That you don't continue to feed it and it's not going to feed you, okay? Uh, that's where we are right now. Uh, we have to be in an aggressive defensive standpoint here at BOJ because, of course, we're aggressive in finding the opportunity. We're defensive in how we handle them. Uh, we're going to continue to withdraw as often as possible from everything, whether it's on camera, off camera. We're going to process withdrawals. And once we don't see withdrawals coming, then we start raising red flags. That's just how it's going to be from here on out. All right. Um, we've tried to give grace to some companies that we felt deserved it, and they still um, took off on us or stopped communicating with us. So we have learned a lot of lessons here in this space. But the biggest lesson that I think everyone should learn is to have some risk management strategies for yourself. Um, you know, I have an aggressive defensive standpoint, which means I'm aggressive in finding and, and putting uh, my capital to it. And I'm also defensive when it comes to withdrawing because I'm defending my own wallet, right? So in that defense, I want to continue to process withdrawals as often as possible. So um, that's just what I do. Um, I wanted to drop this to you guys because I know that there are going to be some uh, phishing attempts uh, coming from emails, from Telegram, WhatsApp, all these different places that may tell you that they can get you your money back from these fallen platforms. Um, I have never, ever seen that in two years. In two years of doing this, I've never seen a platform give you your money back in that kind of fashion, all right? So be diligent, be vigilant in this space and in my comment section as well, all right? Put your 2FA on everything, your wallets, your platforms, because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west, y'all. If you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It is not very fun at all. If you like this uh, content, hit subscribe. You want to be updated and notified, hit the bell. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man either for the same reasons, all right? They're just here to take, and uh, we're, here to we're here to educate you guys on that. Hopefully, most of you have already uh, been able to maneuver. You may have seen, ooh, you may have seen uh, some things going on out there, but I just want you guys to know, all right, from, from my mouth to you guys' ears, we got to pay attention to this stuff, all right? I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.